The LGRC is an ambitious project that was funded by uh, the National Heart Lung Blood Institute of the National Institutes of Health. It was a project uh, enabled through the stimulus bill. Um, it was an opportunity that I and my colleagues in this project had to build a consortium across the country with members of different institutions, uh, each of whom had their own expertise, so to transcend the boundaries, the, the borders of our own institutions, uh, and to reach out across the country to bring together the best and the brightest people with different approaches, different genomic approaches, uh, to looking at lung disease. So uh, one of our key partners in this project was a group called the LTRC, the Lung Tissue Research Consortium. And they had collected samples from patients, uh, really our third group of partners. Uh, the patients uh, who had lung disease, who had biopsy samples, who donated those samples uh, for research. So what we ended up doing was putting together a proposal where each expert would assemble a team that would use a technology to get a snapshot, a particular snapshot of lung disease from one perspective or another. And our role um, here at Dana-Farber was to really serve as a data coordinating center, to bring all of this diverse information together that gives us different perspectives on how genes interact with the environment uh, to produce lung disease, to bring all these pieces together and to knit them together in a way that we can provide them back to the other scientists in the consortium, the scientists in the broader research community, and to communicate our results back to the general public, to really try to take genomic science, right, the science Bill Clinton called the science of the 21st century, to take that science and use it to address critical issues in lung disease.